it's, we, are, we, are, okay, we are busy here. Tell them. Tell their parents, please. Praise the Lord. Shakarababa Shubaria. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the thanks and adoration for whom you are. Lord, we thank you for bringing us back again for this evening's service. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Cause us to understand your word. Cause us, O God, Bashikaburia, to inherit that which belongs to us through your word. In the name of Jesus. Lord, breathe upon your word. Cause your blessing to be upon us for good. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Do we still remember our team for the, year, for the month? November 2018. Who can shout it? Hearing from God. Hearing from God. Our month of hearing from God. And it indicates that there is, there, there is going to be some tough, tough decisions that we need to make this month. And if we do not get a clear message from the Lord, we will make wrong decisions. And it's going to bring big destruction or rig my role or cause you to rig my role in life. Say, God forbid. So we are going to make the right decision because we will hear from God. Now, I want to make this very, very clear. There is nothing like hearing from the Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? There is nothing like hearing from the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit said, the Holy Spirit, I heard the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit told me there is nothing like that. But there is something like hearing from God. Does that make sense? When Jesus was teaching us how to pray, he said, our father, what was the next one? Which art in heaven? Who is in heaven? So, he's not in you. Does that make sense? That was why I gave that example about Rebecca and Isaac. Holy Ghost is the one with you. Jacob was so wise upon his foolishness, he was following Holy Ghost. Everything he did was what Holy Ghost, the mother, wanted. That was Old Testament. But in the New Testament now, Holy Ghost, like now Jacob, the Holy Ghost will be in Jacob. But it was a sign, a typology. So the Bible says, don't you know that your body is the temple of what? The Holy Spirit. The temple of the Holy Spirit. So you can't be there. If you are there, Holy Ghost will not have space to be there. Does that make sense? So there's nothing, absolutely nothing like hearing from the Holy Spirit. Or hearing. Or Holy Spirit told me, or Holy Spirit didn't tell me, or Holy Spirit lied to me, or Holy Spirit called me this. Because you are dead. Abby Chopin said, I said, I'm dead. Apostle Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. It's no more me in my lives. But the Holy Spirit that is on earth, now in us, can hear from God. And I'm here to tell you, the way we chorus it, the way we say it, is not how it happens. As a matter of fact, I told you, forget about hearing from God. You don't need it. Jesus only heard three times. Apostle Paul once. The other one was when he was taken to heaven. None of the disciples, none of them, as then when they had it, when they were with Jesus. None of them. They ministered unto the Lord. They ministered unto the Lord. And the Lord said, separate me. Is that, let's, let's read it. Let's read it and see. As of Apostle chapter 13. Verse 1 and 2. Quickly. 
Yes. Now there were in the church mm -hmm. that was at Antioch, Antioch yep. certain prophets and teachers. You see, they gathered together. They gathered together. Prophet teachers. Continue. As Barnabas and Simon mm -hmm. that, were, that was called Niger mm -hmm. and Lucius mm -hmm. of Cyrene and Menian, mm -hmm. which had been brought up yes. with Herod, the Tetrarch, and yeah. Saul, as the minister to the Lord. The minister to who? The Lord. Jehovah. In fasting. They in fasting. The Holy Ghost said. You see, they ministered. Did you understand that? The Holy Ghost said, the womb of the church, that was in the church. And that is what I was sharing with you, how Nigeria is doing. <laughs> and they say, Holy Ghost said, Holy Ghost this, Holy Ghost, that's prophecy. Yes, that's prophecy. It wasn't as if that all of them, they were talking and they said, Holy Ghost said that, Holy Ghost said that. As the body of Christ, this is the next thing I want the church to do. Read it again, verse 2. As the minister to the Lord mm -hmm. and fasted. You see now, was it an easy process? Did they, were they just uh, drinking uh, coffee and Holy Ghost was talking? They say, now we want to hear from the Lord. And when they say that they entered into praying and fasting. And the Bible said they ministered unto the Lord. They ministered unto the Lord. What happened? Lord, God spoke to the church. And I know that is where people have been. Holy Ghost, what have you done? What price have you paid to hear? Finish it. That verse two. Start it again and finish it. As the minister to the Lord. The minister to the, oh my God. Do you know what it means to minister to the Lord? Do you know what it means? Before you hear, you can say. Because in that context, God and Holy Ghost is the same thing. God is in he heaven. Holy Ghost is his masterpiece. He dropped. I will show you something. Just finish that one. As the minister to the Lord and uh -huh. fasted. Uh -huh. Speak to us on this behalf. Speak to us. We want to know. Where is the church going? Where is the church going? What is the next step? Where are we going? The Holy Ghost said. Uh -huh. Separate me, Barnabas and Saul. For the work unto where unto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed. And laid their hands on them. They send them away. Did you see it? Did you see how Holy Ghost, if you know, spoke to them? Do you see now? Now, it wasn't like somebody stood up and said, Holy Ghost, the body of Christ. So indirectly, it was just God. That mini look at okay, go to go to First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine to eleven. Yeah, uh, First Corinthians chapter two, from verse nine to eleven. But as it is written, as it is written, I have not seen eyes, have not seen, nor ear, no, nor have, what? yeah, nor ear heard. Okay. Neither have have entered into the heart of men. Yes. The things which God hath prepared for them that yeah. love Him. Yes. Continue. But God hath revealed them. Unto us by his spirit. You see now. He has revealed that. Unto us. By his spirit. Continue. For the spirit searches all things. Ye. The deep things of God. For what man knoweth. The things of a man. Save the spirit of man. Which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, 
that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. See, we have received what? We have not received the spirit of man, but the spirit of God. That through that spirit, we might know exactly what belongs, what God wants us, what God has prepared us to do. Does that make sense? Am I making, are you, are you confused or are you getting it? Individually, you can't say Holy Ghost told me. Individually, you can't say it's wrong. It's a wrong, it's, it's, it's wrong. People that heard from the Holy Ghost, the Bible said the church came together and they prayed. They needed the direction. Which way shall we go? And the Bible says, the Father revealed what was in his heart through the Spirit. What was in his heart? The spirit. You know, you know, like now. Look at what, exactly what happened. They were praying. Shkaba, Liba, Korea, Korokutu. First day, praying and fasting. Second day, praying and fasting. The third day, praying and fasting. Somebody stood. Look at exactly, this was exactly what happened. Somebody stood. And said, separate me. Read it again. How did he say it? This is exactly what happened. And this is how. Yes. Verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord. Yes. In fasting. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost said. Now, now look how exactly what happened. They were, not, Paul was, uh, they were not writing it. Yes. Said what? Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto. Now look at what happened. As they were praying. One person. That's what I told you. Uh, in Nigeria, what they do? <laughs> I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Separate Barnabas and these for the work ahead. I put it in Nigeria because they are nearer to it. Are you getting it now? They are, I'm telling you, the sister is nearer. So why they were praying? Somebody stood up and said, "Separate the next work now." separate Barnabas and Paul. The person never said, Holy Ghost said. But when that happened, they all had agreement in their spirit that this is not uh, Jimmy talking. This is Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? You know, uh, how I wish, how I wish the Western world Will, will, will allow us to bring back the gospel they bring to us. Bring it back to them with power. You know, you, you, that, is, that was why I was confused when I came here. There is, there, we have a ministry in Nigeria, back in Africa. These are prayer warriors. They manifest in gifts. It's a team. I've shared it with you so many times. Somebody was praying, a lady was praying, Shakabaria, Mabrakatoria. And that person started writing down what she was saying. Started writing down. Started writing down. And when she finished, she came to the team leader and said, Look at what this girl said. This girl said she killed her mother. She orchestrated everything, destroyed her. This is the reason why she did. And they called the lady and said, where is your mom? He said, my mom is dead. They asked her, do you know it was you that killed her? She said, how did I? Can't kill her. I love her so much. But in physically, she loved her. But she said everything, how spiritually, how they orchestrated her death, what she did, what they use for her dead. These are gifts. These gifts are real. But if the Western world cannot accept it, they might not see it for once. I, that came from Africa, I've seen it. 
It wasn't even happening in a Pentecostal church. It was happening in a Presbyterian church. Just like Smith Wigglesworth prophesied it. He said the greatest power that the world have not seen in Christendom is going to come from the Orthodox, not from Pentecostals. Because the Pentecostals are not organized. They are not decent. Everyone, has, they have abused the principle. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And in the same meeting, when, you are, when they are praying, when the prayer gets hot and God takes charge, look at how they talk. They can't say, Holy Ghost told me. Sometimes if the name of the person, they know the name of the person, they say, prophecy has started. There's somebody here. It's not all this criminal or this one. One man show. Look at it. They came, they prophet. They came together. A better prophecy, a better one, believe this one better than somebody tell you Holy Ghost told him. I see you. I see you in a place and I see God bringing you out of that place. Is a better, is a better way of ministering than say Holy Ghost told me I see you. Holy Ghost, are you getting, church, are you getting what I'm saying now? The church came together, both the bishop, apostle, every one of them came together and said, we must hear, we must know the next move. And as they were praying, hear me, this is how it happened. One of them stood up, and you will know it's Holy Ghost. Say, prepare me, prepare Paul and Barnabas for me, and send them. This is how he talks, this is how Holy Ghost talks. He has taken over. The power is, he, you know, it might be Jimmy, it might be you, it might be, it might be anybody. You want to speak through your mouth. And the Bible, and when the, when the, when in the Old Testament, or where this thing really happened, when, the, when, the, when, when the person finished speaking, you will see the person sometimes he will just drop. Or sometimes the person, if you ask him, what did he say? He said, I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. But you can never hear the person. I don't know how Holy Ghost will be speaking through your mouth and you say, Holy Ghost said. There's nothing like that. The church have not attained. That was the kind of foundation we came out from. We came out from that foundation. People will gather together. When they gather, they pray. In praying and fasting. And the next thing you hear, one person will stand up. Or one person will, will just, you will know. Sometimes he makes a sound. That sound is just to attract that you need for you to know something supernatural is about to happen now. Sometimes he will say something. Sometimes he will start with speaking in tongues, high level of speaking in tongues. You will understand, you will know that this is not ordinary speaking in tongues. You will know this is high level. And in the middle of it, he will keep calm. And he say, Jimmy. That car you want to buy, don't buy it. There's another one coming next year. Buy that one. That's Holy Ghost. I'm telling you. How does it happen? They came together. They prayed. It's not this one drinking alcohol or lying or doing all this. Just came. He will say Holy Ghost. What, what does that mean? Read it. You... It's either in only in that place. The Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, the whole. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas. Who were the people? They are start from verse 1. Now there were in the church that, that was at Antioch. Antioch. Certain it's prophets. Okay. They were. Certain what? Prophets. Prophets. Uh -huh. And teachers. Do you, do you not see it? Do you think I made sense? It's because that the church, the, the ministry of the Holy Ghost has been abused. That's why everybody can say Holy Ghost, say Holy Ghost, say Holy Ghost told me, Holy Ghost told me. Why I'm dealing with this, I don't know. It started last week. 
I never knew this was going to be our team. There's nothing like Holy Ghost told me. There's nothing like Holy Ghost said. But there is something like hearing from God. Does that make sense? There is something like hearing from God. And this hearing from God, they are in levels. The most expensive one is hearing audibly. But tell me, let me, church, I'm here to tell you, forget about that one. You don't need it. Do you know why I say it? Because many people in their life, they have been praying. All they want is to hear from God audibly. You're wasting your time. It doesn't. Because that one has substitute. What is the substitute? Prayer. How do you know that you have heard from God? When something supernatural happens. When you pray, what happens? Supernatural things happen to you. I was going to Malaysia. And it was ringing. In my head. Idika. So you are, you are cl- opening your eyes to go and destroy your whole family in Malaysia. I was hearing it clearly. I didn't tell any of them. Any of mine. But you know what I said in my heart? I said, God, I can never worship a God. I can never serve a God that lies. That is always lying. (laughs) He said, when God is for you, who can be against you? I am 100% sure. I'm only hearing in my mind, I have never, in the dream, the way you speak to me, you speak to me through dreams. All the dreams I had were positive. Paul said, within we are fierce, and without we are fighters. And a lot of things started happening. Somebody was there threatening. I will destroy you. I will do that. I said, that's the devil. Pepper tiger. I said, God, I can't. I'm above that level. One, I can't just ordinary. Even when I was living, I don't know how to lie. Because people that lie are afraid of people. It's fear that makes you lie. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not afraid of anybody. I wasn't afraid when I was an unbeliever. I was, a very, I was a very hard man. Police cannot come to arrest me and I will run away. I don't run away from police. I cannot be doing something and you call police for me and I will run away because of police. I was that kind of person. I wasn't afraid of fighting anything. Now that I have known this God that is most powerful, when I was in the dark world, I wasn't afraid of anything. Now that I'm in the light with the God that is most powerful, and somebody is saying he's going to kill me, I say, God, let me go and see how weak you are. Where have I wronged you? You told me to leave Nigeria and come to Australia. On the way, you didn't tell me about Malaysia. I entered Malaysia, finished Malaysia, now I'm in Australia. Where have I failed you? I've not been here. My family has not gone to holiday for six years. And now that you provide, we pray for these holidays. It was you that provided the money. I was. This, I'm telling you, is the truth. One, that I may know thee. I don't want to serve a God that I will not be improving on knowing him. Because you can never understand God. But I have to try as much as I can to gather the little I have. I said, God, I'm not, I'm, I can't, I can't. Let my children die. If they die, okay, they are go, they'll go to heaven. If heaven is real. Paul cannot be 100% sure and be telling you that I may know thee. He still has some doubt. He still needed some clarification. Even in his level. That was what I did with my trip to Malaysia. I said, let me go and see. I started prayer. I didn't need to hear from God. I started prayer, prayer. Caraba. There was a day I woke up one o'clock. I prayed at six o'clock. Because of our trip to Malaysia. Shekabo, Skebremu Kukuya, Kanda Brakatoya, Keria. God, show me how weak or how strong you are with this trip. And do you know when that guy that was branding, shouting, making noise, anytime he speak, I will tell them, watch out this guy. He can't come near me. If he come near me, he will be destroyed. He was ranting. He was saying he would do anything. He would do all this thing. But I've already prayed. 
And I know if I touch him, he will die. I said, no, this guy that you shouted everywhere, he's not going to do anything. While we are at the airport. You know, when they, they, there's something about when somebody that doesn't talk, talk. And somebody that is not seen, when he's seen. I was at the airport as we were about to board. Somebody that doesn't talk, I know he would not. He knows me very well. He sent me SMS. It was, it was, you don't understand what I mean. You never, that kind of person can never tell you such thing. And he sent me SMS and said, be careful with the Malaysia you're going. At the airport, as I was boarded. Send me, I said SMS. I didn't show it to anybody. I said, God, this person is somebody, if you say, be careful, I know there is danger. He said, be careful with this Malaysia you're going. He did, the guy is in America. He doesn't know anything. But he just sent me SMS. He said, be careful with Malaysia you're going. I saw the SMS. I buried it. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I, I wasn't saying, God, tell me, tell me, tell me. I have already prayed. Because with prayer, you don't need that hearing. Are you getting my point now? So that you don't go searching using your computer everywhere. And we, 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 where will I hear God? Where will I? You're wasting your time. Jesus taught us the substitute. As it was his custom. Every morning he'll go to a solitary place. He will pray and demand from heaven what is his purpose. And God will reveal it to him. Now there's another one which is the fastest way of hearing from God. But we, we don't take it. We don't appreciate it. We appreciate the one that they deceive us. Holy Ghost say, Holy Ghost say, Holy Ghost. Please, it's not easy. It's not, we will still make that mistake. But let, be conscious of it that there's nothing like Holy Ghost said that Holy Ghost told me. It's better you tell the person that you're talking to, I see you. And if you are convinced, it's, it's what you are getting in your spirit. Because it's no more you, it's the spirit of God. And I listen to you. He will speak through your mouth. But you can hear from God. But I'm here to tell you, you don't need to start fighting to hear from God. Because whatever you want to hear from God is already in your hand. Let's go to James. Let me show you what I mean. James chapter 1. Start from verse 21. Yes. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness uh -huh. and superficiality of naughtiness. Now listen. Lay apart what? All filthiness. All filthiness. Clean yourself. Be clean. That's what the Bible is saying. Be clean, number one. Be clean. Now, we are going also the process of hearing from God. This is the simplest way and the easiest way to hear from God. You don't need that one. You can't be able to sustain hearing, Paul, Paul, why are, that, why are they persecuting me? You can't. Deep, call it for deep. Don't wait for that time because you don't even need it. He said, be clean, number one. Number two, what? Look at number two. I'll explain it to you. And superficiality Stop of naughtiness. Stop being a hypocrite. Don't say something and go. Don't be, don't be cosmetic. You know, when you, when you use cosmetics, what happens? If you are black before, you become brown. Or you become, I don't know what to call that color. Uh, chicken color. But, uh, <laughs> you know? In Africa, we call them Fanta and Coke. Fanta and Coke. You see, black or white in the same body. That's cosmetic. That's superficial. You are not rooted. You are just on top. These are the processes giving us the key. If you want to hear this word, be clean. Two, stop being superficial. Continue. 
and receive with meekness and the, the engraved, engrafted word. He said, when you have been taught the word, do you know what is meekness? Do you know what is meekness? Good, that's good, but it's, it's that, I'll give you 20%. What is meekness? Hmm? Hmm. What is meekness? Meekness, you have all the power to do what you want to do. You have all the power to do what you do, but when you are advised, when you are told to do something, you forget your power and do that. You know, somebody you are stronger, better than, Listen, as, the, as your pastor, if Marvin come now and say, and I know it's God saying it, Marvin now come and say, don't drive that your red car again. Give it to me. You are now my boy. Are you getting it? That's meekness. If I follow him because I know it's God speaking. That's meekness. So two people that the Bible used meekness to describe who were there. Is this? And who? Maybe Samuel. Jesus. So power under control. Having all the power. But when you are spoken to, when you are insulted, when everything, you just laugh. That's meekness. So what does that mean? What, 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 in this context of the Bible, what is he saying? He's saying you can never, ever, ever Hear God through his word if you are not meek. What does that mean? You have all the knowledge. You have your computer. You have PhD, permanent head damage. You have everything. But he said, humble yourself. Behave as if you have never learned anything. You don't even know anything as you hear the word of God. He listened to it with meekness. Can you read? Does that make sense? Read it again. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness mm -hmm. and superficiality of Two. naughtiness uh -huh. and receive with meekness. And receive with meekness. He's saying meekness, saying you, had, you are a wise person. You have knowledge. You are strong. You know you are a philosopher. You are a PhD holder. He said, but throw away all those things as you hear the word of God now. Do not ever use your philosophical understanding. Do not use your uh, intellectual understanding. Do not use your, you know, education background to weigh what I'm saying. And that is the problem we are having. That is why we have people writing a lot of books, telling you the Bible, preachers making a lot of, telling you in Bible school, they are turning everything upside down because they add their feeling. Oh, the person I'm preaching to now, repent. If you don't repent, you go to hell. Hell? Hell, no, 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 don't be afraid. America said, any message that will make anybody feel guilty. Any message that will make somebody feel guilty is not from God. That's what American preachers preach. Any message that will make somebody feel guilty. And the person will say, Oh, I have to repent. Say it's not from God. Why? They are weighing feeling. They want, uh, now the kind of message that they say that is from God is, preach it, pastor, motivational preaching. You know, preach it, oh, I love it, man. Speak to me. But the one that will say, no, I have missed it. I thought I was on the wrong right side. I never knew I was on the wrong side. So this was a heavy mistake. Holy Ghost, forgive me. He says it's not from God. That's what they are saying indirectly. What is conviction? The Bible says, you know, Holy Ghost will convince us and convince. So it might make sense. Are you getting what I'm saying? With meekness. So, so they are adding human right to the preaching of the gospel. Human right. Do you know what human right, the, the, the final explanation of human right? Whatever that is right in your ears, in your eyes is right. And what was the major sin of the Israelite? 
the Bible says, when those that were with Moses or with Joshua, when they all died, the people started doing what was right in their own eyes. And anytime they do that, what happened? God will send the Midianite. God will send people. Allow, I mean, allow their enemies to toy with them. So where are you reading now? Yes. No, you've read 21. Say, receive the word of God because that's another way. Continue. 22. Okay. But be, be ye doers of the word. Do you now see it now? Continue. And not hearers only. Please, church, I want to tell, ask a question. Hearing from God that we are talking about. Is it the same with the one this one is talking about? It is. You see, because you hear from God, you don't hear it from the thunderic, thunderic side. I mean thundering, you know? That's my own English. From thunder. I got it from thunder. Because you're not hearing it from thunderic side. Thundering, if it is my twins, they will say thundering. Because you don't hear it from like thunder. You don't have respect for it. It's the same. The same word you want to hear. It's the same with this. But it's just that one, you have to be clean. Two, stop being a hypocrite. Three, though you know everything, though you are wise, when you hear it, never you weigh it, only weigh it because it's not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the living God. Only weigh it with what the spirit is saying. Not with what your knowledge is telling you. Continue Say, so do not be only hearers. So what does that mean, church? Many people hear from God. And that's what we are going to deal with this afternoon. They hear, but yet they don't do it. Continue. Deceiving your own self. Deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer mm -hmm. of the word, mm -hmm. and not a doer, mm -hmm. he is like unto a man beholding his natural face, in a glass. Yep, in a mirror. For he beholdeth himself. He sees his face and sees that he has pointed nose. <laughs> and goeth his way. But when he leaves that mirror. And straight away. Straight away, straight away he will forget how he looks. Yeah, forget what manner of man he was. Does that make sense? He said if you are a hearer and you are not a doer. Just, just can you ever. You don't understand. Most of you, all of you here, my children, most of you here, we are born here. I mean, um, somebody has paid the price for you to be in Australia. You don't know what it means to catch up to be a citizen of Australia. You don't know the price. You don't know. Your parents paid the price for you. You don't know what it means. So you will always play with it. It doesn't have value to you. I look at my children. I look at them. I say, God, you are fair, very fair. There's no way. It's, it's only the things that I know. I haven't been the one from Nigeria to here. It will be hard for them unless I start taking them. Imagine them. If they go to Nigeria now and see Buhari, representative of Nigeria, they will, they will faint. My children will faint. Because they have never seen any human being like that. Only seen our president, President Buhari, Buhari. <laughs> or now hear about Boko Haram, or hear about um, um, full enhancement using knife to cut people, anyhow. My children have not seen that kind of brutality before. But we are seeing it. When we were there, if somebody steal in Africa, you see people, they gather in the market, use knife, cut the person, get tire, put and burn the person. Does it happen in your place? When you were, this one put his head, yeah, you, you know, have, you seen, have you seen something like that? <laughs> Look at this uh, uh, agriculture human being. Mama, you used to see it in Africa. When somebody steal, do you do it in Liberia? When they steal, they burn them. They kill them there in the street. Happens every day. 
They've not seen such thing. If my few go there now and see, you start shaking. Ah, ah, I want Panadol. Ah, ah, take, me, take me to women and children. Hey, hey, I've not seen her. Hey, hey, hey. You've not seen anything. I'm t- this is real. When I was doing handover, when I, was, I went to handover the church, Church of God in Malaysia, 2011, I went with an Australian. Listen, do you know, that Australian has never traveled. That, that Australian, as I said, was 47 years old. She has never traveled out of Australia since she was born. Do you know what happened? Immediately we got to Malaysia. We drove her to her hotel room. And the next day, we were all tired. The next day, she said, I want to look around. Hear this thing I'm telling you. Immediately she saw the way Malaysians were riding their car. Vam, vam, vam. No control like Australia. <laughs> Nothing. The lead started shaking. Started shaking. I said, what is the problem? You see what is happening here? Where are we? Am I dead? I said, no, you're not dead. Am I in hellfire? I said, no, you're not in hellfire. He said, I've never seen such thing before. She entered into shock. Do you know we have to change her ticket to take her back immediately to Australia? We have to. She can't stay there. Her brain cannot be able to calculate. Cannot be able. You see, be not ye here. What do you continue? What does that place? For if any man, for if any be a hearer of the word, yes, and not a doer, not a doer. Okay, oh, yeah, we already read that part. Yeah. For he be, mm, mm, yeah. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. If you look at the word of God, if you hear from God through His word, that's what He said. And so you can hear from God the same way. And continue therein. If you continue therein. He, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Do you know what I'm Now, I was, what I was saying before I entered where uh, I went to start talking about the girl that went to Australia, I mean Malaysia. I was talking about, look at me. You don't know where I came from. Why is it that I'm here today? Is the word of God. I stood on the word of God. I heard the word of God. Through his word. Does that make sense? I told you my wife, me and my wife just solved the problem. A problem on decision. A decision. A decision would have made. We sat down for more than three hours. Praying. What are we supposed to do? Go this way or go that way. And the only way we will know that we have gotten done the right thing is not is the result of that thing. If we do it, an Australian government and say, okay, we have accepted it, then we have, because we had two options before us. We pray the substitute of hearing from God. After prayer, there was an agreement. You see that thing, sending this one. Because I marshaled out all the, we put it on. You see, this one, this one. Let's send this one. And immediately we send it. They approved it. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The word proof that you have from God is the result. In the morning, I was able to show you all the Bugados, all the gymnastics about hearing from God. But this morning, I want to narrow it down a bit. That you don't need to, for those thundering, hearing from God, storming, hearing from God, or whatever, you can just humbly, one, be clean. Two, do not be superficial. Be real in everything you do. That's another word. The opposite of that superficial. Be real in your service with God. Third one, Though you know everything, humble yourself. Do not use what you know to check the word of God. And he said, if you do that, you will see, you will be like somebody when you see yourself in the word of God and you are a doer, 
you will see that you become you start becoming what you have seen in the word of god you start becoming what you have seen in the word of god you start maybe you are seeing yourself as somebody that can raise the dead and if you keep on do reading the word of god if you keep on seeing yourself one day you see it when somebody dies around you you raise the person up you become what you read God is speaking to every one of us every day. Because our body is the residue, is the resident of the Holy Spirit. This is our season of hearing from the Lord. Quickly go to Job chapter 33, 14, 15, and 16. Then we'll close there from there. Yeah, Job 33. For God speaketh once, mm -hmm. yea, twice, yet men perceive it not. Yes. In a dream. In, in a dream. That's how I hear from God. I hear from God from dreams. Continue. In the vision of the night. In the vision of the night. That's how I hear from God. And deep sleep falleth. I ask question. When deep sleep falleth upon men. You are sleeping. You are like a log of wood. Your life. Your body is now resting, which means your life has dropped. Then your spirit becomes active. In slumbering upon the bed. Mm -hmm. Then he opened his, the ears of men. He opened the ears of men. Go speak. Church, are you getting it? So is there anything that is going to stop you from hearing from God this month? Nothing. Why? You can either hear God audibly. Like Hannah was praying in the spirit, she tuned into the spirit, she was lost in the spirit. Her ears opened, boom. Hannah, I need a priest. Who said that? God, if it is you speaking to me that you need a priest, if you give me a son, I will give it back to you, I will give you a priest. Immediately, that activated heaven. It entered into the ears of God. And the hand of God went and touched Eli. Go, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Hannah, Hannah, for I know your name. I know your name. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. And Eli, <laughs> Hannah, what, did, what happened? What happened? What happened that God came and told me about you? Okay, look at Hannah. He said, woman. So you went and got drunk again. He said, no, I didn't drink. And he saw it that she was clear-minded. I didn't have any, when we went to McDonald's this afternoon, it was only, uh, that girl wanted me to drink uh, alcohol. I said, no. I refused. I only took uh, ice mash, Coca-Cola. And then I said, okay, then that's not it. Then God has answered your prayer. If that's it. Because he cannot do anything without his prophet. He just alerted me that your case is settled. Go, Hannah, for your case is settled. And his son that was born under the power of Holy Ghost, prayer for 12 years, did not yet know the Lord at the 12th year. Neither has the word of the Lord been revealed unto him. It's, church, I want to tell you, that is a very hard way. There's a very simple way to hear from God. Make yourself clean. Be real. And when you read the word of God and sleep, God will speak to you through his word. There are so many ways to hear from. Study the Bible. It is the word of, this is, the Bible says, sure word of prophecy. This is the surest way to hear from God without mistake. So this month is the month where you will study your Bible every day. This month is the month where you will pray every time. And you cannot do this too without coming on the other side. Without coming with a testimony. Supernatural and expensive testimony. God is about to give you something that you have never experienced in your life. God is about to change your story. You know, I was going with Mama Yodele and this is how Holy Ghost speak. And she said, Pastor Joseph, Pastor Joseph, you are getting your citizenship this year, this year. Your family is getting your citizenship this year. 
But the way she told me that, I knew it wasn't her. It was Holy Spirit speaking through her mouth. Do you know what I did? I said, thank you, Jesus. Because in my mind, how is it that you did, suddenly somebody just looked at you because you are driving her home. He said, Pastor Jesus, you are getting your citizenship, your family, this year, this year, this year. It, even as I'm talking to you now, it's impossible in my mind. But it has started happening. I'm telling you. It has started happening just the last two weeks. And it has started happening. Are you getting more I'm saying now? We were going. She didn't say Holy Ghost told me. She just turned at me and looked at me. And I knew it wasn't her. But the power of God in her. That is how Christianity is supposed to be. This year, God will speak to you. And when he speaks to you, there will be conviction. And when you obey it, there will be results. Stand up, church. Shakaburia. Bukuru Mukuria. Marababa Baba. Bakuri Baba. Rebaba Baba. We are about to take this Holy Communion. Lord, I ask. Masobu Rumukuri Baba. Rebako Sikatoya. Regada.